people, welcome to Outside the Room. I'm C.G. Funk, your host, and we have Brooke Riley in the house today. Woo! Now, Brooke has held several positions with Massage Heights Retreats and the corporate office. She's been a massage therapist for nine years and is currently the training manager for Massage Heights Franchising. I'm so glad to have you here. Thank you ready you. to get started? I'm ready. All right, let's go. <laughs> well, Brooke Riley, how exciting that you are in studio with me on Outside the Room. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Very oh. excited to be here. I'm, I'm thrilled to have you here. You have a long, rich history with Massage Heights, and I can't wait for our audience, listeners and viewers, to hear your career stories. Now, what I think we should start off with is you sharing the roles that you've had through your history at working with Massage Heights. Oh, wow. Okay. So started with Massage Heights in about 2016, which it's been a little while. Um, I was a lead therapist at our TPC location here in San Antonio, Texas. Um, about a year in, I decided that I wanted to move to the franchising office, talked to them, did some interviews, moved into an operations specialist job where I got to travel and meet amazing therapists and owners and just it, it was amazing um, me and my husband left for about a year um, to move to another area so I left Massage Heights when I came back I was uh, I worked as a regional for five locations here in San Antonio and I just took on a position as the training manager back at the franchising office so it's been a fun ride what drew you to want to go to massage therapy school and become a massage therapist well, when I was working in fitness, I was managing in their spas. Um, and I found that I would see clients go in to work with our therapists and they would go in feeling pain from their workout or just having a bad day. They would come out almost a completely different person. So that kind of started me thinking, what do I want to do with my career? I, I love management, I love leadership, but I wanted to do something that would also allow me to be with my family a little bit more. And uh, massage just it was just the right fit for me. I could still help people. Um, I could see clients and help them. And when they left, it would could change their lives over time. So that kind of led me to massage, just being in the spa atmosphere and really getting to know massage therapists and what they really do. You know, it's really interesting because mm -hmm. I hear a lot of massage therapists career stories, right? Mm -hmm. But mostly they say, I received a massage and it changed my life. <laughs> You're saying, I saw people mm -hmm. that had received a massage yeah. and their lives were changed and that's what drew me to yeah. that. So okay. do you remember your very first massage that you ever had? Oh, goodness. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> I think everybody remembers their first massage. So when we were opening up one of the fitness locations that I worked at, you know, a part of that is hiring massage therapists. And my first few massages were interviews with <laughs> massage therapists. So, you know, it, it was amazing to me how they could find the areas almost immediately that were bothering me and that was so cool um, to see so that was my first experience was actually doing interviews with massage therapists that's so, so funny because <laughs> you would have been a great person you know a therapist comes in you've never received a massage mm -hmm. before so any massage would probably feel great to you at Absolutely. that point you're like hire them hire them yeah, hire them yeah. right? they're all amazing <laughs> and then you learn later oh well okay you know they could have done this it. better, yeah. Mm -hmm, because it, what's interesting about your career is so how you started mm -hmm. by just you know seeing people that ha had that glow, the massage glow, and the effects. But then you went to massage school, and you came out with a love of massage, but you had already had a love for teaching, if I recall your story. And so you really have integrated teaching and training massage therapists in your careers. How, how did you discover it about yourself that you had like this gift for teaching and sharing and helping therapists grow um, and become better in their work? A little bit of it started managing massage therapists and just managing in a spa because you do have to sit down and 
go over numbers and all that stuff that no one really likes to hear. So the coaching and the making them understand why getting clients to come back was so important. That's how it started. Um, but honestly, where I found the passion was I was recruited when I was in school to actually be a hiring and training manager for the school spas. And I've always had this fascination of getting to know what really makes people work and just how they how they learn and what makes them happy and being a trainer and being a manager and a leader you get to do all those things so when you're training and you're managing a team you have to look at each individual person and really what makes them tick and you get to do that whenever you're doing training or you're a leader over a team and it just it just brings out this passion in me to see someone go from not understanding to all of a sudden it's like this light bulb goes off and they're like, oh, I get it. That's just the best thing for me. I love that. Mm. Brooke, you have had a wonderful career and you have done so much for Massage Heights from the corporate office and also the locations that you worked at. And I'm wondering, what's your advice to a therapist that wants to grow into leadership or training? I think you have to start by leading um, from the front or leading by example. Um, one of the things I will say, say early on is I always tried to be a mentor to the other staff, the ones that are struggling. And I really think that that taught me how to train and lead a team just from that mentor aspect because you're working more alongside someone rather than over someone. And I think that's what a, need, a leader needs to learn. Um, another thing I would say is uh, listen to podcasts, take certifications, learn how to train and be a leader. Um, I'm always researching different personality types and how adults learn. Um, and I'm always on LinkedIn trying to find new leadership um, uh, like trainings to do. So always be learning, even if you're not in the role, that's okay. You can still learn how to be a leader and how to train um, different people. Another thing um, I think that really helped me was to ask questions of my manager. So I was always curious and I let them know, you know, this is the path I want to go down. I eventually want to be a trainer at the franchising office. I eventually want to manage this location. Like I do have goals. And then I would ask questions and learn more from, from my management team that I had. Um, training um, can be hard uh, and leadership is very hard. Each person that you deal with is gonna be a little bit different. So you need to really learn um, how to Deal with different situations that are going to come up and that comes through learning um, that comes through asking questions of your management team i think all of that helped to prepare me for the career that i really wanted yeah i love that answer and you know when i when i hear you talk about leadership and training and then i've also heard you talk about you know your career um, and your career path it really reminds me that massage therapy and being a massage therapist is such a varied path. I mean, there are so many ways you could go with a career in massage therapy. Maybe for 30 years or so, you're in the room and you're actually doing the work and that's beautiful. Um, it's probably the most powerful thing you could do. Or maybe you do wanna go off into training or maybe into teaching or teaching at a resort or a school. Um, or maybe you wanna sell, um, work with a vendor that makes massage supplies or lotions and be a, a salesperson. I mean, there's just so many ways to go in this career and um, it is a fabulous career, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It absolutely is. I, I love yeah. every minute of it. You know, I've, it's been so fun having you in the studio today, Yeehaw, Thank you. Um, on Outside the Room. And I, I'm so excited that you're back at the corporate office so I get to work with you more and get to know more, learn more about you. And um, I'll look forward to seeing you next time I visit. Definitely. And I look forward to learning from you as well. Thank you, Ms. Brooke. <laughs> Thanks again for being here. Thank you.
Well, hey, thanks for joining us on Outside the Room today. I hope you enjoyed the episode and the conversation. I'd like to thank Massage Heights, ABMP, and ASCP for sponsoring this program. From my heart to your heart, namaste.